of the skin. And this is uh, a representation of what we're doing with the electrical anion, okay? Now, a common misconception is that is the, the, the duration of the arc as well as the, the power of the arc. To feel the, the skin he feels that the more intense the burn is. Do you understand the logic? The, the more area you cover, the more burn you're getting onto your, uh, your body and then you're going to have a reaction. Um, I've had done a number of treatments. The, uh, the purpose of this particular uh, slide show. Okay, now, this is a presentation that we've, uh, we made a number of times, and girls at the back, are you copying? Are you cheating? Okay, okay, I'm watching you. Okay, now this, uh, this presentation we've, we've made a number of times, actually I think twice, we've got the video online. And it's been very successful. This is why I'm leaving last, because um, you can really watch on YouTube if you wish. This is very important because um, it teaches you the main fundamental physics of electrical arcing and why we say if you use the arc in a certain way, you're going to get different results depending on how long you keep the arc on for and the distance between the spots and so on. Now, what happens is, this is not an arc, but we're using a, um, um, a radio frequency device that is used for what you call in the uh, electro desiccation mode. Is a, we're going into arc very, very soon. And what happens is you apply heat into the skin. This is the same as, you, uh, as happens when you've got electrical, uh, electrical arcing or plasma. Where's the pointer? I put it in my pocket. Uh, the pointer. The pointer, I think I left it. Oh, yeah. It's much easier, got it. So here, these things are the heat, pro is the representation of the heat propagation into the skin. So, and this is electrical arcing. If you recognize it, can you see the black thing? This is the carbonization. We, and this is called fulguration, because in science, electrical ar arcing in medicine, actually, has been used for several years for um, uh, for medical applications like electrocauterization and so on, uh, and, and also in surgery. And this is, again, fulguration or electrical arc has been used for several years and it's been used first in medicine. No, it's not, okay, it's working now, yeah. And this, what, what you get is, um, in almost all cases, a very superficial ablation or burn of the skin. And this is uh, a representation of what we're doing with the electrical arcing, okay? Now, a common misconception is that, uh, sorry, uh, the, um, the, car the carbonization is given up, is not giving up any, any heat in the surrounding tissues. This is for marketing. And this has been uh, done by the Plexer guys. They even have a, um, what do you call it, K not case studies, they have scientific data to, um, to back it up. But what they have forgotten to mention is how long they kept the arc on for. This is something that is, is very, very interesting. So basically, I'm saying something a bit controversial. In uh, um, scientific papers, they are linked to certain devices. Mostly, they try to justify what their claims are. So this is a very important. So if there are names attached to certain scientific papers, don't treat them as gospels. Because in this scientific paper here that we, we found is actually written down as in a scientific paper, it's actually not taking into account the duration of, of the arc. And also, it's not taking into account the fact that after you do a, a treatment with this the particular device, you get swelling on the upper eyelids. Uh, because you do cause a burn, burn and therefore there's heat uh, that goes inside the skin. And we're going to go into that and how it's propagated roughly. So this is not true because once you apply uh, the arc, the area gets red around the area, uh, around the area where you apply it for 30 minutes, within 30 minutes to an hour, and that develops into, into swelling. Um, the sign of the skin burn are evident. You get 
uh, very, uh, what do you call it, swollen eyes, if you do it on uh, your uh, upper eyelids. Um, and there's clear signs that heat has given up onto the surrounding tissues. This is me, the morning after the treatment. This is pretty. Yeah. I wish you, you experienced this. Okay, now, this is what happens when you've got electrical arcing. You've got the burn there, which is carbonization. You've got the carbon residues. Do you know what I'm talking about, the carbon residues? Yes? The black spot, so you get one. Yes? Good. This is re represented there and there. And at the same time, why do you feel, why, why do we use numbing products? Because the heat is a lot. We've got a lot of heat that is, is actually going into the skin. And that heat causes um, uh, our, our ner nervous system saying, oh, there's something wrong here. I should feel that something wrong. I should feel pain. And this is why it's quite painful treatment, because there's a lot of heat that's propagated. And the longer you keep the R4, the more the heat. The, um, and that's an important thing. So you can change two things in order to change the amount of heat propagation. Is the, the, um, the duration of the arc as well as the, the power of the arc. This is why you said before, it's simpler if we've got three power levels. It's simpler if we've got even one. And then you play only with the duration of the arc. That one power level, if it's low enough, you can keep it on for th no, two seconds. And then if you play with a higher power level, you can keep it on for one second. I'm only putting numbers there. And you achieve the same sort of, very similar sort of heat propagation. Because what you're doing, you're trying to get the, the, the skin to be heated at the dermal level in order to cause that burn that will be not too bad in order to cause injuries that are long lasting. But it will be good enough to uh, stimulate the collagen regeneration, therefore the, the skin tightening, which is very different. People actually market this as skin shrinkage. And they uh, advertise exactly, I mean, the before and after are, are done be, just before the treatment and then during the carbonization, when the carbonization um, makes the, 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 the skin to shrink, this is only temporary because then when you get, after you get the eyes that, like that, then, <laughs> then the area is going to get rehydrated again. And this is again the, uh, the, uh, from a scientific uh, paper showing you the effects on the skin of electrofulguration in there. So there is actually, it's not as if I, I say it, uh, I just prove that to you using normal reasoning, you get swollen eyes, you really feel pain and so on. There is heat propagation, but obviously it's there. It's something that's well known. If you use electrical arc on skin, you get heat propagation into the skin. Here is just to, um, this is a very representative, don't take it as gospel, but what I've tried to say in this, this is one of my presentations, I've done it myself at the, to at the time. Here is, say for example, if you keep the arc on for half a second and keeping the power level the same all throughout, say for example, I'm only saying beauty tech power level 10. I keep it on for 0 0.5 seconds. I keep it on for 2 seconds. I keep it on for uh, uh, 5 seconds. That ablation for 5 seconds is going to be much m more than in that case, when I, I just left it on for uh, 0 0.5 seconds, 500 milliseconds. We've got a video where I actually show you that on a piece of, uh, I think it's chicken. Uh, we work a lower power level and we keep that arc on for long enough until we cause a, a hole. And you can repeat this, uh, this, this, this exercise with this, um, this device or any other expensive device you can, you can find on the market. They work in the same way. And again, this is another picture. Uh, just sort of trying to demonstrate the same thing. And this is the sport operation of sport, uh, or sport modes. This, you've got the wrinkles. We teach you not to work inside the wrinkles. We've, got, we've seen certain videos where I actually put the, the, uh, the spots inside the wrinkles, and then they, uh, you have problems, which I can show you later on in another PowerPoint presentation, which has been online as well. And there is a reason for the separation of the given distance between the spots, which I'm going to go into in a second. So, why is not just the power level the most important thing? Power levels can help you, the, the, the number of power levels, especially when you're becoming advanced. But it's not the only thing, because the most important 
point is the duration of the arc. That, even if you have a very low intensity de uh, power device that only works at one level, that can do everything for you, from skin tightening to more removal, anything. You just got to spend more time there in order to do the treatment the way you wanted to, to do it. And it's safer because it's easier. I mean, it's got less likelihood of things going wrong because then you cannot accident. It's, very, it's more difficult to accidentally keep in the arc on for too long, so to speak. Then the intensity of the arc, the power level of the arc, and the distance between the spots. And we're going to try to, so we understood, hopefully, why the duration of the arc is very important. So did we understand that, why, why that is? Why is that? If someone can tell me, please. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And then not only that, so you can actually cause a, a burn inside the dermis and you get more heat inside. Very good. And the distance between the spots. So we understood the first one. We understand, obviously, the second one, I'm assuming. But we're trying to understand why the distance is so important as well. And this is, uh, the, so this is uh, something that uh, I'm really bad at writing things, using uh, handwriting and all that is really bad. I'm really bad. I do apologize. So this is very important because we've got two spots, two spots here that we put side by side as two electrical arcs. Now, let's forget that we're actually putting that arc in there. And let's focus only on this arc here. When you just place that arc in there, you're going to have a bit of heat propagated inside the skin. In this direction, in this direction, in this direction, and also in this direction here, in this direction, in that direction. Good. So you placed that, arc, that, that spot in there, and then a few seconds later, you're going to move two millimeters away or three millimeters away and you're going to put that arc in there, that, that, that spot in there, sorry. So you're going to get a bit of propagation that way, a bit of propagation that way, that way, this way. But look at what happens is before, if we focus on this area in between the two, two dots, this area before felt a bit of heat from that point, from, from that point again, this spot here felt a bit of heat from that point, and that point, and, and, that, and that arc in there, that, that carbonization in there, when we have done the, the, the when I applied the, the spot in there. So that, this area here has already felt a bit of heat from there. But then when you apply that arc in there, then you're going to get more heat. This place here is feeling more heat from there. So from there, you're going to get more heat. So you're doubling, so to speak so to speak, the amount of heat that this region is feeling. And now let's assume that I move this, I mean, I'm starting fresh. I'm starting fresh, OK? There's nothing. I move this this way, and I move that this way. This area, because it's closer to the, uh, the, the arc when it takes place, is even feeling more heat. So the more heat you feel, the, the skin he feels, the, the more intense the burn is. Do you understand the logic? Yes. It's a very simple thing. And this is why we said that for many years, look at, not many years, sorry, that's my age, uh, the distance between the spots. And nobody talks about it as much. That is very, very important because of the simple fact. And when you start doing the treatments, you'll understand. If you actually try to, 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 to make the, the spots closer, you'll, you'll see that the results are different. The intensity is different. The burn is more intense. Even if you're roughly using the device in the same way, the same power settings. And again, remember, even if you think that you're using the device in the same way, you're actually not because you're only human. And you can say, well, I'm going to keep the arc on for 0 0.5 seconds. Are you really? Are you a chronometer? <laughs> no. So you, you think. So you, you're guesstimating. This is one of the things that we're going to change in the new device anyway. So you're going to be able to actually tell the device how long you want to keep the arc for. But that, this is something for s later on. And this is another point, that, another slide that I'm trying to, uh, I've done in order to illustrate this. We just focus on that point there and the x. The X point, we call it X point. This one, you could, you could 
call this one y point, z point, whatever. We call this point here, this point here, x point. And we say x2 is the amount of heat that this point is feeling from that, um, that carbonization spot, the area, the, that, that spot. And x1 is the, the amount of heat that is actually getting from that spot. Obviously, so obviously, if you move that this way, because the distance is shorter, it's going to feel that x1 is going to be much stronger. I'm just trying to I'm, I'm explain the same thing over and over again, and hopefully it's going to stick. That's very important. That, this is why we, I'm repeating myself, although it seems quite boring. And I, I do these things because I'm thick myself. I'm a bit, you need to tell me things many times before I actually sink into my brain. And so, once again, I'll just say it again. Spot duration, how long you keep the arc for. Intensity of the arc, so the power level of the device. This is why it is important, but it's really, is it really? To some extent it is. <coughs> distance between the spots. So these two, the see, the spot duration and the distance between the spots, you do control. So you are really the main um, person who's actually responsible for the treatment at the moment is the user because you've got control over these two things. And they, especially the first one, can actually even cause injuries if you, do it, if you keep the, the arc on for too long. Distance between the spots. And the other parameter, which is the least, is the area covered. The, the more area you cover, the more burn you're getting onto your... Uh, your body, and then you're going to have a reaction. Um, I've had done a number of treatments, and I've noticed that whenever the area was a bit larger, this is not only the, the, the area itself that felt it, it was just my, I felt a bit different. The, the, the larger the area, the more I actually felt uh, it was a bit weird, so to speak. And that's the, uh, the, uh, the purpose of this particular uh, slideshow.